Oh my god, this is so good! Yes, so far, excellent start, Delicious. right? <laughs> Welcome back to Magtastic Productions and today we're at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge and we are here because we have a dining reservation at Boma's. So we've been to Boma's before but it reopened so we're gonna check out the buffet now that it's back open to see you know if there's been any changes and to see if even the food is just as good as we remembered it. So if you guys are new to our channel and you guys like this kind of content and dining reviews, uh, you're welcome to like and subscribe to our channel. And if you guys are ready, let's go and join us for dinner today. So we're excited about that. Um, this buffet is African flavors. So just like we had the African flavors um, in our Tusker House uh, dining uh, review, I'm gonna put that link down below so you guys can check it out as well. But this is a full buffet. It's the first buffet that actually opened back at Disney. So we're really excited about it. And for Boma, you could make a reservation on the uh, Disney app. So you make a reservation first, and then you just come to Boma's. And Boma's is located on the first floor uh, at the uh, Jamba House uh, building. And once you uh, check in by mobile app, you just come down to Boma's. There's a desk there and the hostess stand are there and they'll go ahead and uh, take your name, your information. And as soon as your table is ready, uh, they'll text you, come right over and they'll check right in. They'll seat you on your table. Right now we're just waiting for our, uh, our drinks and we'll show you that in just a moment. They do have an extensive wine list here at Boma's. As you can see, they have the red wines over here. It's a huge list. They have my favorite beer selections here. And on the other side, you have the white wines. The price signal for the white wines. And down here on the bottom, the sparkling wines. And finally, the signature cocktails they have here. You do have here another menu, is the Bomas Flavors of Africa here. If you want to read what the flavors are here, a little synopsis. And over here, when you open it, there's the awesome drinks here. We got cocktails on the left hand side. I think Magnus is gonna get the blood orange margarita. That oh, sounds yeah. good. <laughs> I might get the uh, raspberry mojito, which is right over here. As you can see, they have extensive cocktails. Raspberry mojitos right there. Mules. Bahama Mamas. Smoked turkey. And over here, are more drinks, which are the Captain's Mai Tai, martinis, sangrias, white sangria, Ooh, that sounds good. Ooh, yeah. And over here, more beers to choose from. And there's another list of beers. Overall, if you do want to get your drink on here, definitely Boma's <laughs> has you covered. Our drinks have arrived. Magnus has her blood orange margarita there. It looks so good. I like the color of the blood orange there. Oh, yeah. yeah. No salt, but it does have that color, and I can imagine it's gonna taste delicious. Yes. Let's go ahead and do our first taste impression. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, so 
good as usual. The only thing is missing is the salt, but this is just as good. I really don't even need the salt. Delicious. <laughs> My raspberry mojito has arrived also. There's three little raspberries here. And my raspberry mojito. Cheers also. <laughs> Very sour. I'm pretty, yeah. I wish it was a little bit more sweeter. More raspberry. It's, you know, raspberry is a sour fruit, but I wish it was just a little bit more sweeter, but. but not bad. Mojitos aren't really sweet, though. You know what? You're right. <laughs> but let me mix it with some raspberries here. Mm, that garnish is excellent. Oh. Really good. Mm, excellent. I recommend you like mojitos. You like them a little bit sour? Get this one. Let's go ahead and show you the soup first here. We have the oxtail stew right over here. We have the butternut squash soup over here. We have the sambal chicken corn chowder. And we have the corsa and the levure. It's a seafood gumbo. These are the four soups they have right now for today. Over here, we do have the different toppings for our salad. Here's a nice garden salad here. Over here, we have the basmati rice. We have West African black eyed peas. Spiced green beans with golden raisins. And we have the peanut rice with coconut sauce and ginger. Over here, we have the corn peas and carrots. We have a uh, we have the penne pasta with the marinara and meatballs. We have the mac and cheese over here. And we have chicken bites, look like little chicken tenders. And over here we have a boti, which is a South African dish with ground beef, lamb, mushrooms, and egg. And over here we have the Durban style roasted chicken. Uh, Durban is the largest city in the South African province of Kuzulu, Kuzulu Natal. They even give you nice tidbits of history of Africa. Over here in the carbon station, we have spiced pork ribs with tamarind honey barbecue sauce, which are look really good. Here's the black sauces with the ribs. You got the barbecue sauce, you got the horseradish, goma mustard, and you have the African carbon strip wine right there, right over here. And then next to the carbon station, we have the Sinhalese salmon with yasa sauce, and over here, herb crusted potatoes. And to the right, ooh, sweet corn pudding. Well, that looks pretty good. I love sweet corn. Next to the salads, you have this avocado, papaya, and grapefruit salad, which is a great mixture here. As you can see. Ah, we're a mixture of fruit and vegetables. Over here, they have a dish called uh, araya, ariria. And that's not pronouncing it right, but it looks like a lentil soup, maybe? There's also a type of other salads they have here. They have couscous. They have chickpeas over here. On that end, we have here a tabalu salad. I'm not pronouncing it right, I'm sorry. Uh, we got a pasta salad over here and coleslaw right in the back over there. For desserts, you can have fruit. They have strawberries, grapes, watermelon, mixed fruit over here. And over here, they have something called a spiced cottage cheese with bayberry glazed pineapple. Mm. That sounds refreshing. Over here, they have your pita bread, your Malay bread, Lava-ish, thin flatbread. Uh, they have coriander hummus. There's a different types of hummus here. So type of love, different type of bread, definitely African inspired. Especially that flatbread over there. Just to show you the tip of top of desserts they have here. They have the chocolate, I think there's the Mickey Domes. I'm not sure what that is, but we're definitely gonna try that. And you got this the kind of muffins with this topping. Looks like pineapple. And I actually actually found the names of these. Uh, you have the Kenyan coffee tart, hazelnut brownies, zebra domes, passion fruit mousse, which I love passion fruit, and a pineapple fancy here. And finally, they have my favorite dessert. It's banana bread pudding. And to the side of it is vanilla sauce. Oof. You guys know I love bread pudding, especially the one in Ohana. So let's see if this can top it. It looks excellent. Mabis is gonna try the oxtail soup here. Oh my goodness. Uh, I love oxtail. I'm not sure if anybody's a big fan out there of oxtail, but definitely. Look at that. Oh my god. That's so <laughs> so thick. Look at meaty. thick and meaty. It's got corn and carrots in there. Oh, Look at the so pieces good. of corn. It's like a oxtail stew. That's stew, what it that's is. An stew. oxtail exactly. stew. Yes. Yeah, let's try this. Let's see. Mmm. First taste impressions. Mm. Wow. 
wow, that soup is amazing. <laughs> the meat is so soft yeah, and tender. Big chunks, big chunks of meat too. I just swallowed it. I don't even need to chew it. <laughs> it melted in your mouth. That's how soft it is. It melts in my mouth. And the flavor of the stew itself, oh, delicious. Very savory, so good. Kind of like a Spanish style too. This Spanish people do this stew and it's delicious yeah, as well. Oxtail is big, oh, big, big in the Spanish culture, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, baby, and how's the salad? It looks really good. Okay, I got That's a bunch. That's I got a, a bunch, bunch of vegetables there, huh? I got a bunch of different kind of salads. This one, I think it's a little bit more sweeter here. It got like pigeon peas, uh, yeah, the, chickpeas, the I'm chickpeas, sorry. Yep. Chickpeas and tomatoes. Yeah, cherry tomatoes, and, cucumbers. Um, I got uh, farafa here, or farofa, I'm sorry. Uh, here as well. Now, farofa, uh, is, that's a type of vegetable, right? No, it's kind of okay. like, uh, I know in Brazil and in Portugal, they, they, they eat a lot of far, farofa or farafa, I think. <laughs> I think it's farofa. And it's really good. They put it on the rice, they put it on the salad. It's kind of like a couscous kind of. Oh, kind of like a couscous. Kind of like a couscous. Okay. Kind of like that. It's really good though. So, let me try this. I got a couple of olives in here as well. I know, babe, you don't like olives, but I love olives, so. <laughs> I'm All a right. big fan, but let's try the salad. Uh, so, so far the salad is good, huh? The salad is really good. It's nice and fresh. Tastes really good. And they have like different, several different dressings. So this one that I got for both of us, it's kind of like a white avocado dressing. Like avocado ranch? It's like, like an it? avocado ranch. There Ooh. you go. And it's really good. It's not overpowering, but it's, it makes a salad. It gives a little oomph really good. <laughs> Let me go start with the ribs here. These ribs look delicious. Mm. <laughs> I knew you were going to go for the ribs. They yeah. look so good. Crispy too. I love it. Cooked well. I'm going to go ahead and try the pasta here. Pasta salad. It's a tri-color pasta salad. Mm. It's good too. Mm. Excellent. Does it have like cheese on it? Because it looks no. a little yellow. It's just there. like the dressing on it. Yeah. Oh, okay. These are the potatoes. Mm. Mm. Nice and soft. <laughs> mm, and it has the Kind of like the herb, the herbs on it. Herb roasted is so good. And what else do you have there? Oh, and we got some here. Some cut meat there. What yeah. is that? It's the sirloin. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Now it's a little red. I like mine's a little cut, a little cooked more. But let's go ahead and try it. Mm. Nice and soft. Yeah, I think that's why they have it that kind of rarish, kind of like reddish kind of. But I think that's how it comes. Yeah, delicious though. Overall, the meats here, the potatoes, the uh, pasta salad, this combination. I'm a meat and potatoes guy, so <laughs> I love it. Excellent. Maggie loves fish, so she's gonna try the salmon here. All right. Yeah, it looks so nice and pink too. Yeah, nice and pink, and it comes with like these red tomatoes and peppers, and it looks all like nice and juicy here. Okay, so let's try it and see. First taste impressions. Let's see it. Wow, this salmon is delicious. I usually try to stay away from salmon. That's the only fish that's kind of thick, like kind of like a meat. But it's soft. You can see it right here, baby. You can put the camera here. Look, it just falls apart. It's kind of sweet. It comes with these red and tomato juice and peppers on it. So it's kind of sweet a little bit, I guess because of the, pe the the sweet red peppers and the tomato, it's delicious. So if you guys are into salmon, I do recommend it. It's nice and soft and it like melts in your mouth. It's so good. So this is the avocado and papaya. What a mix. Yeah, I, I mentioned that earlier when I was showing everyone the foods. Mm -hmm. Let's see how that mixture is. Yeah, let's see. I love papaya mm -hmm. and as a Latina, <laughs> this is both things that I like, avocado and papaya. So let's see. Wow. Is it like salt and it's, sweet? You can taste the avocado. It's not salty at all. It's very natural. It's like smashed avocado. And then at the end, you get the sweetness of the papaya. So it's very refreshing. And if you guys like, like papaya and avocado like I do, I, I recommend it. It's nice and fresh. I'm gonna try the sweet corn here. The, is it a, the mousse or like a, it's kind of like it's, a mash? It's mash, like a mash. Mash corn. Sweet, sweet corn so pudding. Let's see. Yeah. It's tempting. All right. Cheers. Mmm. Like a texture, like a mashed potatoes, but with the taste of sweet corn. Oh yeah, it's really good. 
Wow, I think I like it better than mashed potatoes. If you like sweet corn, you're gonna love this. Oh, so good. Mm. Magpa's got the famous peanut rice. It was highly recommended by one of our servers here, so I can smell the peanut. It's yeah. like peanut butter almost. <laughs> yeah, you can smell the sweetness of the peanut, and it, it smells like it's gonna be sweet. Yes, let's go ahead. Cheers, That's first taste impressions. Mm. Can you taste the peanut? Or is it just the as smell? As soon as you start tasting the rice or you put it in your mouth, the rice kind of sticks together. Okay. And it kind of becomes a little mushy in your mouth. Okay. And it tastes like pure peanut. So pure like, peanut butter. And it's kind of sweet, but not like oh. overpowering. It's a hint of peanut. It's really good. It's delicious. Really good. Mmm. It is time for dessert. And we got an assortment of desserts here. <laughs> to uh, share, to not share. only for and me. Not only for Mag, to, to share. To share. <laughs> uh, we got the zebra dome. The uh, ze yes. famous zebra dome, the chocolate, is it the mousse, the passion fruit. Oh, that, that looks so really pretty. That looks really good. The passion fruit yeah. dessert and the uh, pineapple francier. So yeah, that's kind of the muffin. Yeah. And it's so like let's a go ahead. Cookie there. So Maya was gonna go ahead and try the desserts. See which one is her favorite. Okay, I like passion stuff. So let me try with the passion fruit. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's like a mousse actually. Yeah, passion Look. fruit. Yeah, and oh, I, I, love, I love passion fruit myself. And it's all moussey here. Yeah, <laughs> very moussey. Right, so let. <laughs> it's like I meant to say soft. So good. Let's see here. Mm. Oh yeah, <laughs> Magnus and I love passion fruit. I leave it like oh shape God. form the. The okay, fruit. I gotta taste it again because this yeah. is like it melts in your mouth. So so far, you went for, <laughs> I think for the best. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, this is so good! Yes, so far excellent star, this right? This is <laughs> time to taste the chocolate. <laughs> yeah. and, have a mousse also. and babe, did you notice that you grabbed this? You put it next to each other. It looks like two eyeballs, a pupil. <laughs> <laughs> the dessert's looking at us. I'm being silly now. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Let's try it and it see. Looks super rich and chocolatey. But yeah, it. it looks a little bit richer. Even when I cut it in, it's like yeah, it's a big, it's a thick chocolate. Well, let's there. see there. Mmm. Mmm. The middle, it's like a gel. Oh, it's like a gel, like a a chocolate flavored gel. Mm hmm And then the outside, it's like a hard um, powdered chocolate. And what's the white though? Is it like white uh, chocolate? On let the me top? see if it's white chocolate. It looks like it could possibly be. Oh yeah. It's like a cream of white chocolate in the middle. Mm. This is delicious. Very too. soft, yeah. It's very it's a soft I chocolate mean, and white chocolate mousse, right? That gel is like so different. It's kind of a little interesting. Mm -hmm. But in a very good, delicious way. It's really good. Maybe it's not gonna try the famous zebra domes here. Yeah, and I know last time we were here, Those I were loved favorite. it, yeah. and that was my favorite. We weren't filming or didn't have the, the channel time, yes. yet at the time, but we couldn't share that adventure with you. But yeah, but oh, as far as we the, remember, the zebra cakes the were the best. The zebra cakes were good. Look at the middle here; yeah. it's so Ooh, good. It's so it's, soft. It's a mousse too. All right, cheers. Mm. Yeah, just as good as we remembered, huh? It just melts in your mouth. Wow. It is so good. It's just like, just as good as I remember. The zebra domes, they not only sell them here, but I believe in one of the bakeries here. Mm -hmm. uh, another one of the smaller uh, cafes in here. I forgot the name, I'm sorry. Um, they also sell the zebra zones as well, but they're really famous. And they're made out of what again? Is it like a chocolatey? It's a white chocolate mm -hmm. mousse, white chocolate on the outside, so it's nice and melted. And you can see the inside, it's a light chocolate mousse. Yeah. And then That's it has like the little drizzle of chocolate. Yeah, those are always been like your zebra. favorite. <laughs> those, these are always my favorite, but now it's between that and the passion fruit. And right? the passion yeah, fruit. So delicious. far, these are the two best. <laughs> now I'm gonna try the banana pudding here, the bread pudding. Now, I said earlier that I'm gonna compare this to Ahana's. I'm not sure if it's fair to do that, but, <laughs> but it has the vanilla sauce, so let's go ahead and try it. Yeah. Cheers. Ohana is number one in our books for bread pudding. Mm. Not bad. Not bad. But not great. <laughs> <laughs> Ohana is still yeah. the bomb. It's not bad with the, with the the vanilla sauce. Actually brings it up a notch. It's nice and soft. You taste the banana flavor a lot. With the vanilla sauce, it's better. 
if you like bread pudding, you're gonna like this one. It says with vanilla sauce, but like I said, Ohana's the best bread pudding I ever had. This comes like a third place, I think, but not bad. And before we forget, we have one more that we almost missed. It was the pineapple. This little one here. Fancier, I think it's called. Looks like for me like a muffin, but it's it's it's, it's pretty thick. Like yeah. a consistency of a bread pudding thickness, so. And it has a pieces of uh, pineapple. Yeah, right I there, got so. chunks of pineapple. I was wondering what that was. No. <laughs> it's okay. That would be like the a number of what? What would you give this? One Mickey? <laughs> that was one Mickey. Yeah, like a one and a half. <laughs> I would not. I would not. I would not get this. No. <laughs> Everything else is good, but. That's good. That's the, only dessert, that's the only dessert that, that we yeah. will both be like, uh-uh. Not that good. But okay. It's everything all right. Everything else was good. Give it a pass. <laughs> this meal was fantastic. It was fantastic. Magtastic. <laughs> it was so good. The African flavors of this meal was, was so excellent. good. It was excellent. It actually reminded me of my Cuban background, which <laughs> in Cuba there is a lot of African flavors yes. as well in some of our in some of our uh, foods mm -hmm. and in our culture. Yes. Um, and you know, like the oxtail soup. Oh, that oxtail was, was incredible. That was, my, that was my favorite. That was our favorite. Yeah. I would pay. Delicious. I would pay just for that, just to repeat the ox too. <laughs> the oxtail soup was excellent. That was my. For me, that's the highlight. As far as the. The actual food and then the dessert for me the highlight was the zebra cakes was awesome yeah. and the passion fruit dessert yeah. was really good too you like the passion fruit mm -hmm. dessert uh to me it was that oxtail the fish was good the salmon um that avocado with the papaya, papaya. was very interesting refreshing and light <laughs> um i did like the the cream um the cream corn the sweet corn the sweet corn mm -hmm. cream corn that was good it was very interesting and different yeah. um i've had that before and it was fantastic here as well i mean the all oh, the peanut rice that peanut oh, rice, that peanut was, rice really was totally different interesting. Yeah. Yeah. like i said earlier it looks like you're eating peanut butter rice form so yeah, <laughs> it was a little different and a little interesting but yeah. it was delicious it was really good really good yeah the salad i mean oh the ribs let's not forget those ribs the ribs, the ribs were excellent good. too <laughs> yes. ribs was really excellent like here Boma, you can't go wrong with the items that have here for the food items everything was excellent excellent the atmosphere was great yeah uh, the service was excellent oh. also our server was she, she recommended her name was i think lana 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 yeah. i think um she had recommended different types of food she recommended me the bread pudding which was okay it was yeah. like you know like i said it wasn't the best bread pudding but it wasn't bad uh the peanut rice was also really good yeah. as we mentioned before um i mean else? every everything was that's delicious. it that's like, i mean everything we tried was so delicious it was so much food that it was like too much for us to try everything <laughs> in one night or yeah. one evening um, but I do, we do highly recommend it. Yeah. It was just delicious. It was magtastic. It was so. definitely magtastic. Oh, and I forgot the, the, the cocktails that we had. Oh were yeah, excellent. those cocktails. My raspberry mojito and you're with a blood, blood the orange blood margarita. Blood orange margarita. Yes. Was so overall, amazing. Overall, excellent dining experience here at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Uh, if you do have a chance to stay here or come visit for the restaurants here, definitely Boma should be on your list. And if you do enjoy these type of vlogs, remember to like, share, and subscribe. subscribe. Well, tonight was a great night. It was a fantastic fantastic night. night. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you on the next Magtastic, Magtastic Productions. Productions. Bye, guys. Bye.